Hey guys, Snake Doctor coming at you again. Uh, this video is going to be a little different. It's actually, I want to pose a question. And I know I don't have many subscribers, many followers, or what have you, but what I'm actually hoping is that maybe you can share this amongst and or at least send people to it. I really want to get some ideas, some opinions. Um, I come from Florida. Spent a lot of time down, down in the Louisiana area, which has been mentioned by my accent a lot. Um, my wife comes from Canada, so we kind of have a, a situation here. We, we both are unhappy in North Carolina. It's just, it's not where we want to be. It's not where we want to stay. Um, so we're looking at where we want to move. Uh, Canada is an option. It's one place that we are looking at. It's one place that we're considering. Um, but the problem is we're going to have to move into a big city. It's outside of Toronto called Brampton, and it's not a place I want to go. I don't want to move back to the big city. I did time in New Orleans. I did. I lived about a year or so in Jacksonville. Went to school in Jacksonville, Florida City. You know, I, I've done my big city, and I'm done with big city. With that said, we'd have to move into big city while we got everything established until we could find a house and a place we want to go with land, etc., etc., etc. Personally, the area I like up there is a little town called Go Home. <laughs> and it's not only for the name. I mean, it's a lot of wilderness, um, a lot of open space, which is what I prefer. Now, the other option is going back home to Florida and as much as I hate the city I'm more than willing to move into an apartment in the city to be back home near the salt water near the marshes near Gator near all that there yeah. it's just it's what I love and I must think that when I think like that that's pretty much how my wife thinks too so I can't be all about myself I hope she don't watch this video. Um, so I wanted to ask y'all from a prepper standpoint, strategically, where would you relocate? Now, the place I lived at in, in um, Florida is called Fernandina Uli, Nassau County. It's the first county you enter when you come down 95 south into Florida. All right. Now there's there's a lot of wilderness spaces there. I mean, there's it, and then there's the island, of course. But I, I I probably wouldn't go to the island just because it's so built up, and I'd rather be able to go there and visit and just that and a third, and uh, live on a place where I can have some goat and chicken, and uh, be able to shoot and what have you in my own property. As far as Canada, I know the gun laws are different. I'd have to get rid of pistols. I know, I know, before my Canadian friends jump up and down, I know I can own them. But I've checked out the paperwork and I work with a lawyer in Canada. It would be better for me to sell my pistols here now, transfer my long guns, and then work to buy a pistol up there than to bring them with me. And that's really not something I want to do. I, I will, but I don't want to. So I guess what my question and what I'm posing here is, even though I'm rambling and I know people don't like watching videos like this because I hate watching videos like this no offense to all y'all that do I do watch them my may skip here and there so my question to you is at the four minute mark now between Brampton area Canada for at least a year year and a half uh, and all the problems that come with it, moving there, having to sell certain guns, not being able to take certain guns, um, struggling as a new immigrant to even be able to find and get a job. Um, what else is there? What else was a few of the cons that we had? Anyways, there's a few cons, and I'm sure that you can think of them and work on them. And if I, if if you have any questions, just you know, chuck it in the bucket below, and I'll answer it. Um, Anywho, or Florida, where the same poor credit score, yes, I know I'm working on it, but poor credit score, a few other things that need to get cleared up, nothing bad, nothing really, it, more stupidity than anything. 
Uh, always wear your seatbelt. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Um, all my family's in Florida. All her family's in Canada. She has some in Florida. So it'd be anywhere from Valrico, which is down near Tampa, north. Um, my wife's a nurse. I'm a CNA. I have a lot of jack of all trades. Uh, she is a telemetry nurse, a cardiac nurse, uh, very skilled in unit and uh, cath lab and things like that. She she's been trained in all that, but she works the telemetry floor. And she she prefers it because she gets to be more hands on with more patients and take care of more patients. So I don't fault her. She does. She one thing that she does want to do before I stop this, just to give y'all an idea, because I know I have some of y'all in Florida and I know I have some that are in Canada that may view this, and y'all might have friends and what have you. She also wants to work with children. Uh, burn victims, cancer, cancer patients, etc., etc. Anyways, to cut this shorter than it's looking like it's going to come out to be, my question is this: Where would you choose strategically? Why, and what options? Um, I don't have anything really to give away. I'm, I'm not that blessed right now, but uh, I probably can find or scrounge together something. You know, and when I reach a certain amount, I'm going to do a giveaway as well soon. But I really, really do want your opinions. We're not happy in North Carolina where we are. We are going to move. We just don't know where yet. So I'd like to have y'all's input on this so we can add this into our decision and our debating. There's a lot of pros to going to Canada. There's a lot of cons. And vice versa goes for Florida too. Uh, one one reason why we want to move is we don't have any family around here. We got friends here and there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but we don't really have family. We don't have somebody we can say, "Hey, can you please watch the kids overnight uh, or for the weekend?" Because we want to go do something together. We haven't we haven't had a date night, and I think we're going on four years now. And that's that that's a lot of strain on a relationship. So we want to get around family. Um, otherwise, Louisiana would be on the map too, and I know there's a lot of great nursing jobs in Louisiana right now. So, I know I know we could go there and get a job and really start turning around everything that's going on. It's it's just here. It's almost like God's blessings and grace is starting to dry up. I'm not saying it is before I get jumped on that, but almost like it's a like he's it's time to go. Our season here is up. Our time here is up. So if y'all would please share this with everybody you can. I'm looking for strategic reasons, one or the other. Why one over the other. Um, locations that y'all y'all see as good ideas and what have you. Now as I said, her family's in Valrico, the uh, Tampa Bay area. My family's in Fernandina, and if we're looking at Florida. Uh, I have lots of family in Live Oak. Which I love Live Oak, even though it's nowhere near the ocean. It's such a wonderful place to be. Uh, so anywhere between there, you know, all, at the most an hour's drive between wherever we go, between families. I know two hours is fine as well. So let, at the most two, two and a half hour drive. Um, what else are we doing? Oh, and my mama Pearl, who helped me raise, who helped raise me with my mom and my dad uh, she lives now St. Mary's Georgia so Georgia southern Georgia is on the map as well um, in Canada Brampton is where her whole family is located so about a two hour drive around there too I want to get somewhere I know I won't be able to buy a house immediately and I've accepted that fact and I'm not going to argue that fact anymore Maybe a rent to own or even a rental property, but I want land at, at, as much as possible, so to speak. Um, I'd like to be able to, it's not a necessity, but be able to do target practice and hunt my own property. Kind of like what I do here. Uh, here we have the 500 foot rule. I am exactly 501 from one house and 515 from the other. 
both of them don't mind. I am in the backyard target practicing shotguns, 22s, pistols, doesn't matter. Hell, most of the neighbors come and join me anyways. So that that that's something I'd, I'd like not to give up, but it can be in either way. But I, it's got to be out of city limits. So if there are predatory animals or nuisance animals, I can shoot them. Um, I want to be able to have chickens, some goat, uh, etc., etc. We have dogs. We plan on having another dog eventually, a bigger dog possibly. So these are the things. These are the things that we're taking. Now we're preppers too. All right. So we need we need some room to store stuff because right now in our house we are so over flooded with stuff we're running out of room to even have normal life. So wish to. In all honesty, because it is food and stuff like that, we don't care. You know, somebody has a pre prejudgment or whatever when they leave my house, I don't care. Um, as it's for my family and not them. So these are the things that, and again, I went long and I do apologize for that. But those are the criteria. That's what we're looking for. Something that is no longer than an hour's drive to work at the max. We'd like to be able to avoid that if possible, but it doesn't matter to us. Um close to a major hospital where she can get work I can get work uh, while I finish up schooling if I can get back to going back to school that's the other problem there's no jobs around here and I know everybody say well there's like that in Florida true but healthcare is booming there here it's cutting back so that's the other issue you know please give me your suggestions give me your thoughts I'd love a video response if you could do it if you can't I understand written is just as fine um, just let me know think about it I don't expect an instant answer or what have you but please let me know and like I said I've done electrical work I was an electrical journeyman when I was 16 17 15 16 and 17 um, graduated at 16 so I've I get bored a lot and so I bounce around a lot and healthcare was the only thing that I didn't do that with I did get burned out and I was doing that up until almost a year ago and my clients died and I mean I just that that sucked and then I got laid off so I mean it was kinda like three kicks in a row and that that's the other thing that just kinda hits me like that too it's just like we keep getting signs pushed get out get out get out so right now we're feverishly looking and deciding on what to do so again let me know snake doctor out